All right, hi, welcome back. You know, everybody deserves a second chance, even artists and authors and musicians, copyright holders deserve a second chance. What are we talking about? We're talking about recapturing your copyright after you assign it to somebody. Say you're a musician, you sign it to a record label, the record label gets all the rights to do things, and then the, as the original artist, you have nothing and basically you get your royalties. But there is a second chance in copyright law to recapture your copyright. So without further ado, let's head to the Attorney Steve litigation whiteboard. Okay, so we're back here. We're talking about copyright recapture. I'm gonna to try to make this very simple with one example, okay? Just using a date. Uh, it's a little messy over here, but if you pause it and take a look at it and follow, follow me with it, you'll figure this out. So when you're young, not even necessarily young, but when you're, a, a, you, when you're first coming out with your first movie, your first screenplay, your first song, you have limited bargaining power. Usually that's the case. You have, unless you're like a phenom sensation, you know, uh, America's got talent, you've got all kinds of talent. But a lot of people lack the bargaining power at this stage. And so they can enter into some bad deals or deals that really benefit like the record label here, okay? So there is a provision in the copyright law, 17 USC, three, section 203, what do we have here? 203 and 304, uh, allow they, they, the original grantor of these rights, the original copyright holder or their heirs, okay? You know, heirs can basically assume your rights to your copyrights after you die, okay? So this is, can be part of estate planning as well. But you have a right within this certain window and the window depends on when you originally registered or published your your uh, work okay so but i'm going to use as an example 1278 this is after 1178 so it clearly falls within the 35 year period okay so what happens is the original arthur author artist gets their copyrights they assign it to the record label or the record label gets the copyright registration whatnot but anyway you assign your rights okay this can be a grant a license or an assignment of your rights so the this party will hold the rights whoever they are it could be a movie studio record label could be anybody you know could be anyone from 1 to 78 for 35 years the person the grantee let's say the person who holds the bundle of copyrights, okay? For 35 years, they will get to enjoy whatever rights that they have under maybe a state contract, whatever rights that they, they have, they will get to enjoy those rights unfettered for 35 years, okay? So that's a lot of time to exploit a work and see what it's worth and do the marketing and everything else, okay? So, and during that period, typically royalties will come back here and typically could be a lower than, lower royalty than what you could actually get in the current modern day market. Okay, so this period goes, using this date, 1278, you have a 35 year moratorium. So you can see 35 years plus 78, that would take you to 2013, okay? So the original author or artist can't do anything until that period. Okay, now once that period comes, there is a five-year window that opens up. Okay, so you have five years to jump through this window, reclaim your rights, claw them back, and do what you want with them. You have a second chance, as I note here. So you can do a new deal. You can set up your own record label. You can market it on the internet and make a YouTube video, whatever it is that you want to do. Or you can even renegotiate rights because now you have the bargaining position now. So now maybe it's, it's going gangbusters. You can negotiate a better deal, a better royalty. So copyright recapture is very important. Timing is crucial. If you don't hit the window, if you don't do what you're supposed to do within the window, you will get no recapture. They will maintain the rights, whoever the, the grantee is or the assignee of the rights, whoever that is, will retain the full rights. So you've got to act timely and proper. You have to basically, you need to find the current owner, not just who may have got this, they may have assigned it to somebody else, okay? So you have to locate the current owner of the rights. This can be a little challenging. 
and you have to basically send them a notice of your intent to recapture what we call a notice of termination, okay? So you've got to serve the proper parties. You've got to have the proofs of purchase, uh, excuse me, the proofs of service, and you also have to file your notice and your proofs and everything as required. There are certain requirements you need to follow with the Copyright Office, the United States Copyright Office, Make sure that they're aware of it so that the copyright can then go to you. So you own the copyrights once again, once again. So then you really, if you've got some great works, you know, this is a great opportunity to claw them back, start anew, and really maximize and exploit the value of your copyrighted works. And this could be anything. There's so many copyrighted things. If, as I've talked about on my videos, you can copyright jewelry, you can copyright music, computer fonts, software, you know, pictures, images. So the list goes on and on and on, but this is how it works. So when you send your termination notice, so say 2013 is your, that's your 35 year moratorium. So then you have this five year window. So that will go your five year window. Let me take my green here since green is my color of the day here. You have a five year window to basically get your termination notice in and your notice to the Copyright Office, what they're looking for. And so the earliest you can do this, if you follow me here, you got a 2013 and 2018, that's your five year window, okay? That's your five years to act. So within there, you can send your notice as early as 1993. So this is 10 years before this comes up. You can put them on notice 10 years ahead. Hey, hey, 10 years is coming, you know, I'm gonna be recapturing. So that's as early as you can start your notice. The latest you can start your notice is two years before this expiration period ends. So if this ends in 2018, you need to send it by 2016, depending on what the actual date is, okay? So that's your window, you, this is your time frames. And, and again, there are specific nuances and requirements. If you don't follow them the right way, you don't do it to the T, this is why you probably want a copyright lawyer to help you, you will you will not recapture your rights, you will not have a second chance, you will not have a new chance to exploit, and the whoever owns the rights will retain whatever rights they are. Now, it's also important to point out that this recapture right, they can't, if you do it right, they can't say no, they can't say, hey, you granted me perpetual rights, you know, you can't, you know, you, you can't go back on your contract. Yes, they can. It's in the copyright law. Copyright is a federal law. Um, it preempts any state laws. And it's just, you know, it's a wonderful piece of work, actually. It's why I love copyright. So um, one final note. So that's kind of how it works. And I, I hope you understand that it's pretty, it's pretty basic, filled with nuances and traps for the unwary, however. So um, if it's prior to 1978, the only other thing I'm going to talk about, somebody created a song in, in 1955 we're looking at a 56 year recapture period as opposed to the 35, okay? 56 as opposed to the 35. So I don't know what that is. I don't know, 20, 20, 30 something, 2034. So anyway, that's copyright recapture. If you're an artist, you're somebody that owns copyright, something valuable, or you're an heir to the copyright to the original artist, hey, don't forget you have this window to come back in and get your stuff and and try it again. You know, we all deserve a second chance. And when you're in a position of power, you get a better chance to maximize the value of your work. Okay, this is general legal information only and not legal advice. Thank you for watching. We're gonna have some more great videos. Make sure you subscribe. There's no, come on, there's really no other channels doing great stuff like this. Check out all my videos. We got about 700 videos now and we're over 4 million views. So thank you guys all for watching. We really appreciate it. And we know that this education has helped a lot of people, so that's why we do it. All right, have a great day now. Gotta run, bye.